Hi, this is Dr. Mike, and today I thought I would show you some ways to put in cutaways on the new iMovie 10. This is the iMovie that ships with Mavericks, and it's a much nicer interface, sort of resembles Final Cut to a much greater degree, and it's just easier to work with than the old iMovie. So here I have just a little strip of video, and I want to add a cutaway. It's going to be one of these still pictures here. And so I'm just uh, highlighting it and I'm dragging it down to the timeline and you can see that I can position it anywhere I want pretty easily. Let's say this is the position that I wanted it right here where I have the playhead. I just drop it and there it goes. I can also just grab the edge and make it longer or shorter. I can lift it up again and move it again if I wanted to a different spot if I was a little bit off. Now the interesting thing is if you go up here you can see I can choose if it's a side-by-side -side or picture-in-picture -picture or cutaway. I want the cutaway. And I can also adjust whether it fades in or out. So if you look at me just playing this, super instant stuff that you it just jumps to it, right? So let's say I want to fade that in and out. So I can just adjust the fader a little bit. And now what you're going to see is when I go back and play it, it will fade in. Instant stuff that you just get hot water. And that stuff is okay for camping. And it will also and fade out. So it's, it's more expensive. Which is kind of nice. But okay. let's, there's another way of doing that too. And you can see there's little handles here on the top of the screen. When I go there, the arrows kind of appear. And I can adjust that to fade in and out too. To make the fade either longer or shorter. So I have two ways of doing that. Either on the actual um, the uh, film itself or up with the control. Let's take it back down to zero because I want to show you something else. Let's say we take another uh, another still picture and we want to insert that. So we're just going to kind of insert that, go over a little bit to make sure it's there. Now unfortunately if I use the fading controls what's going to happen when I fade here is I'm going to go to my bottom video which is not going to look so good. It's more expensive and so that looks pretty really unprofessional, good. right? So how do you get around that? Well, there's a trick to do that too. And the first trick is you have to detach your audio. Detach our audio. The second thing is, is we're actually going to cut out this video. So we're going to go here where the video, where the slides start. We're going to say split clip. Split clip. <laughs> then we're going to go here and we're going to say split clip. All right. Now I'm going to highlight these two guys, and I'm going to bring them down in there. And you see everything gets pushed aside, which is not good because now our audio is out of sync, right? Well, no, because we're going to take this clip that we just split. We're going to get rid of it by cutting it. And now we have everything in sync, but we can add some nice transitions by just going to Transitions. We're going to add a couple of cross dissolves. And believe it or not, iMovie will sync the audio. So now let's take a look at this, and it should all be synced. I, the uh, sort of super instant stuff that you just had hot water. And that stuff is okay for camping, I think. But it's, it's more expensive, and often it's very, very sweet. And it's hard to find the natural type. But here, with just regular old oatmeal... So there you have it. That's the way that you can add your still images as a cutaway very easily, but then add fades, and then also he has several of your still images together, like you might in perhaps a slideshow or something, and have them fade in a nice way without showing the video underneath. So that's my tip for today on how to add cutaways in a more advanced way in iMovie 10, the new iMovie for Mavericks.